Hey, everybody, Terry Daniel here. Hey, I want to show you how I save audio files. Now, most of you that know me know that, uh, that I use Adobe Audition 3.0, which I think is one of the best audio interfaces out there, especially for voiceover. User-friendly. Uh, it doesn't have a zillion bells and whistles that you're not going to use, so that's why I use Adobe Audition. I've been using it for years and years. Now, uh, this is how I save an audio file. This is a... I think this is really effective when it comes to auditioning for like Voices.com or Voice123 or Badalgo, one of those sites. Um, this is a mock file that I have recorded right here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull this up right here. I have created a, uh, a phony folder, if I can grab it here. There we go. So we're going to pretend the client's name is John Smith, and John wants a uh, an MP3 of this audio. Now, Every audio interface is different. Adobe Audition, you can, you can save to any type of audio uh, format that you'd like. MP3, WAV, AIFF, whatever it is, uh, WMA, whatever they need. Um, uh, Adobe Audition can uh, convert the file to that particular format. So uh, let's just, uh, we're going to select MP3. Give it a title here. Now, this is this is what's really important when it comes to auditioning. What you want to do is to, you want to make sure that your name is in the title. So I'm going to just put Terry Daniel right next to each other. And then I'm going to put the name of the client. Let's say he works for, let's just put uh, Vikings Productions. Named after my favorite football team that is really disappointing me week after week. Uh, Vikings Productions. Now I'll get a phone call from them saying, what are you doing using our name? Um, again, this is just for demo purposes. And then what you want to do next to this, put a dash right here. And then in parentheses, uh, you want to put in your email address. What this does, I mean, obviously the client will probably have your email address or know how to get a hold of you, but it makes it easier when they open up the file and also see your email address. So I'm going to put Terry at universalvoicetalent.com. Again, this is great for branding purposes. Sometimes, you know, uh, people will put in their, their website, too, in parentheses, and that's fine, too. But I like to include my email address just to assure that the client knows how to get a hold of me. Um, so this is the way I usually will save a file. So then I'm going to click Save right here. And then it's saving the MP3. Now, with auditions, normally, especially if they're an MP3, the audio the audio file should be small enough where you should be able to send it either regular via email. Now, I know Voices.com and uh, the other sites like Badalgo and Voice123, you just kind of attach it uh, to their uh, page, and then you send it to the client, which is fine, too. But uh, if you are working with some national agents or you know regional or local agents that want auditions sent just regular via email... Again, that is why it's important to kind of have your email address right in the file. Now, everybody's going to have a different opinion, but uh, that's my opinion. I think it's good for branding purposes uh, just to stick your name in there uh, a couple of different times on the file. And even if you don't get chosen for the project, you know, your name is kind of embedded in their brain, so to speak. So it's always a good idea to do that. So I hope that was helpful. That's basically the way I save files from Adobe Audition 3.0. I hope you found this helpful. I will talk to you very soon. Thanks, everybody.